in this Alteryx video, we will see how to delimit the data. Okay, so here's the input and here's the output. We'll see what's there in the input first. Okay, so we have got one field, only one field given with two entries over here. So Mary had a little lamb and a string field is a comma separated numeric field and then there's a comma and then there's a date field. Okay, similarly for the second row as well. And the output should look like this over here. If I run this, I will get what the output should look like. This is how the output should look like. And we'll try to recreate this using various tools available in Alteryx. Okay, so first we need to separate the comma, right, as we see. For that, I will use text to column text to column field over here all right let's bring in the text to column field so we'll split field one into three column and the delimiter over here is comma all right okay what i will do is i will add one browse tool to see the output of each step This is how the current output is. We have got field one, one, two, and three. Three columns, column one, column two, and column three. We need to further clean this. The next step involves is we need to remove the double quotes and the single quotes from here, all right? So let's bring in the formula tool because we are going to use the trim function, okay? So let's bring in the formula tool here and for that we'll create one new column and we'll give a name to it as poem because this is the poem right and we'll just straight away trim it trim string is column one string is column one over here all right so we'll write one and we'll scroll down to get this one and what we need to trim we need to trim double quotes so we'll put double quotes in single quotes to trim it see the output over here the data preview okay so here is the output now if you will see we have created a new column that says poem and we have removed the double quotes from here you can compare this with column name one over here with the poem column over here right let's clean it further let's let's not clean column three uh, it's a date date column so we'll add plus over here now we'll add new column again let's say poem read date okay again we need to trim the single quotes from here right so we'll trim the single quote from here and format the date a bit so for that we need to format the date as well right so for that what we will do is we will use date time parts function under that we will first trim it with the trim function trim function what we need to trim column three right and we need to trim single code right okay so that part is done now we need to format the date right so we have got different formats i will choose standard uh, one so let's run this again Pretty sure we'll get the output what we are looking for in this step so let's see how it looks like all right so we have got the new column name as poem read date with year month and date format okay poem column already we have and you'll see we have got some extra fields over here field one one two three right let's try to clean this little bit okay 
to clean this we will use the select tool all right so in select tool we can select and deselect the field that we want to keep in the output so i don't want field one i don't want field i don't want column name one i want column two which i will rename to poem id all right which makes sense i don't want field three as well and i don't want this and let's make it little clean more i will put poem first then poem id and then poem red date all right and let's add output over here the final output okay and see what it looks like perfect so we have got two records over here the clean data poem column poem poem id poem red date this is what we were looking for is very much similar to the output we have seen in the start of the video right yeah Thank you.